So for starters, this is a very hard story to talk about. A massive typhoon hit Southeast Asia, including small parts of China, Vietnam, and Thailand. This may have some impact on both Nintendo Switch this holiday season, along with Nintendo Switch 2 production. But I want to note that this is really all secondary or even third, fourth. It's so far down the chain of concerns right now because of the real loss of life in the region. Hundreds are dead and or still missing. And this is a devastating natural disaster event. So my first thoughts right now are to the families and communities dealing with the loss of loved ones and damage to their property, homes, work, and whose lives are just completely upturned at the moment. I questioned if it was even appropriate to talk about this story dealing with a video game company because the loss of life is the real story. However, someone did come forward to talk about it already, leading to endless comments across multiple of my videos and social accounts, and it's becoming so prevalent that I do think we need to address what's going on. A video by Nintendo Forecast, which has since been deleted, brought awareness of this typhoon and its damages to the gaming world. This is because of a recent report by David Gibson that Hoseidon, a Switch assembler for Nintendo, was heavily investing in new equipment and a whole new factory specifically for Nintendo during quarter three of this year. According to Nintendo Forecast, one of the factories Hoseidon used for assembly was underwater due to the typhoon-related floods of the Red River. This factory was reportedly related to Nintendo. Now, I haven't been able to verify that to be the case, and there are contingency plans in place for both Nintendo and Hoseidon in the event of a natural disaster, but we have to be clear about a few things when we're talking about this story, such as, at this time, the factory 100% being Nintendo-related is still speculation, and even if it was, and let's say the factory was assembling Nintendo Switch 2, Hoseidon, at least based on internet forums, appears to be responsible for just around 15% of Nintendo's assembly. Nintendo has known public contracts with Foxconn in China and Sharp Corp in Malaysia, and those two companies handle a majority of Nintendo's assembly needs. They diversified a little into Vietnam and Hoseidon to minimize future risks of tariffs imposed by the U.S. This is very important to note because even if Nintendo had a factory go down, it is indeed not one of their most important factories in the first place. Now, that doesn't mean Hoseidon did not invest heavily into a new factory for Switch 2 assembly. It merely means that even doing so, they are not the major players in Switch or Switch 2 production. The point of the original Hoseidon story was to point out that Switch 2 assembly was about to or had begun, not about how much assembly that company manages. It just didn't seem noteworthy to me back then. But it is today because people have real concerns that this would lead to delays in Switch 2's reveal. Now, right now, Foxconn is the majority assembler for Nintendo, not Hoseidon, and it's followed up, obviously, by the aforementioned Sharp Corp. And as of right now, there aren't any real reports showing Foxconn or Sharp needing to shut down any of their major factories due to the typhoon. Now, I don't fault Nintendo forecast here in what he was doing. He does forecast a situation and forecasting is a very difficult thing because you're basically making uh, projections. And I, while I don't know why he took down his video and privated it, and I did reach out to him uh, just to see what he had to say and he hasn't responded as of the time of this recording, I do feel like he probably took it down because of two major reasons. One of those major reasons being that, well, it is literally pure speculation. Obviously, he didn't provide a lot of evidence to prove that the factory that he said was Nintendo related actually is Nintendo related. But on top of that, you know, the bigger part of the story is that there was a loss of human life. But since we're focusing on all of this, there's like this comment over on the Reddit thread here saying bad news, Poseidon is flooded. And Windstorm Cloud had a lot to say, said there's a lot of speculation. Uh, the Switch 2 is probably not in production yet. And even if it was, again, that would be a minor manufacturer for Nintendo, not the primary ones. And Vietnam isn't the only location, which I pointed out. But he said, from my own sources and relatives, 
At the time that I am posting this, many of the lesser hit areas are already beginning to operate again. Certain tourism locations and activities are already opening back up. Cleanup is ongoing and officials expect the cities to be fully back to normal in a few weeks. Some of the smaller areas in the north still have flooding, but the good news is the rivers are starting to recede. Cleanups in these areas are happening as we speak and they expect to be fine in a few weeks as well. So essentially, even if there was some sort of delay with an individual factory or multiple factories for Nintendo and Hoseidon, besides them being minor partners, they literally would be back up in a few weeks. So while this is obviously speculation and forecasting by Nintendo Forecast, I will point out that in the end, it does not, at least in my professional opinion, seem to be that Nintendo is really going to have any actual delays in Switch 2. As it relates to Switch 2, it sure seems like everything's going to be business as normal. They're going to reveal it when they plan to reveal it. It's going to come out when they plan to come out. And any impact this has would be so minor as to not have really any impact at all on Nintendo's future plans. That is my personal opinion. Nintendo Forecast and others are free to have different opinions. You're free to go down to the description and have different opinions as well. But we do know a few facts of this situation that we just can't ignore. One, Foxconn is their primary assembly partner, and they're in China, and they don't seem to be impacted right now. Sharp is their secondary assembler, and they don't seem to be impacted right now. The only one that seems to be impacted, or even hypothetically impacted, is their smallest assembler that makes up about 15% of their assembly needs. So I do not think that this is really that big of a story in terms of how it impacts Nintendo, and possibly in hindsight of this information coming out, that could be why Nintendo Forecast has decided to take down his video. Of course, I'm just speculating on that part, but his video to me was obviously a lot of speculation as well. It's very hard to talk about these situations when we're dealing with natural disasters that cost us real human life and try to turn this story to talk about video games. And I'm not faulting Nintendo Forecast for this and that he didn't bring that up and that he wasn't considerate of that fact. But I have seen a number of people coming at him online and I don't know him personally, but I'm sure he didn't mean any offense. He just wanted to draw attention to the fact that this might actually impact Nintendo. And you know what? It might. It might have a small impact on Nintendo, but I don't think enough to really change the course of this worldwide company. So in the end, I think everything's going to end up being fine, and Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be right on track. But we had to bring, bring up the story. We had to cover it because it did spread. It is everywhere, and I just want people to understand that, no, this probably doesn't impact Nintendo the way that it maybe initially sounded. Beyond that, again, my thoughts are all going out to the families uh, and everyone who's devastated by this. I am happy to hear the cleanups are happening and life is returning to normal. But when you lose a loved one, is life ever normal again? I don't know. I guess that's up to the individual. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.